Thank you for visiting the help desk at Redline Controls. This seven-part presentation will examine the features and functions of Crimson 2.0, our main configuration tool for our new series of HMI. This presentation will cover part three, the user interface section of Crimson 2.0. To enter the user interface section, double-click on the button. From here, you will see a two-sided window. On the right side of this window, you see a picture of our HMI. And on the left side of the window, you see an explorer-based tree. To create new pages, we simply go to the page menu and click Create. To rename pages, all we would do is simply click on a page, make sure that it's highlighted in blue, and type out a new name. To configure the screens of the HMI, simply click anywhere within the screen. From here, six toolbars will pop up. The largest toolbar, or the drawing toolbar, is by far the most important, for it allows you to place different things on the screen. Now from previous presentations that you've seen, we've discussed the data tag section is a rich tag environment, and it allows us to easily map and format our data so that when we come to this section, it will make it very easy to apply that information on the screen. To do so, I will click on the little green tag in the last row of the drawing toolbar. Upon doing this, a window appears, giving us a list of every available tag that we have created in the previous section. I will select the tag that I would like, click OK, from here, hover my mouse within the green screen and draw out a box. Upon doing so, my tag appears, already formatted in the previous format that I have selected. To inspect this further, I can double-click on this tag and enter into its properties. From here, you see Get Label from Tag Properties, Get Format from Tag Properties. The value is from Tag, Tag 1. If I wanted to enter another tag in, I would perform the same action. Click on the Tag button, select a tag, Click OK and draw out a box on the green screen. As you see, there is my second tag that I've created in the previous section. To enter out of the screen configuration mode, click anywhere off the green screen. Every button on the HMI panel can be reprogrammed. All that needs to be done is to double click on the button. For example, I will double click on F1. This brings up the properties window for function key F1. There are two operations that can be performed with a button. One is a local operation, which means by pressing this button, only when we are on the specific page will this operation take place. There is also a global operation, which means no matter what page we are on in the database, this specific button will perform that specific function. This is determined by selecting the appropriate tab in the top of this window. 
this page being a local operation, all pages being a global operation. If I select this page and drop down the operation list, you'll see we have a few default settings. We also have a user defined function, which allows us to hand type in any operations or actions that may be performed. A list of these actions is available in the software manual. Some of the default actions, or most frequently used actions, would be Go to Page. By selecting Go to Page, dropping down the target page list, you will see a list of all pages that we have created. If I select Alarms, for example, and click OK, the F1 key now, when we are on this specific page, will go to the alarm page. By hovering over this button, it will give us a bubble that will pop up explaining what the function of this key does. To further examine the screen of the HMI, we can click on the little magnifying glass in the toolbar up top to zoom in. If I select function keys, for example, our screen gets a little larger, but not as many buttons appear on the screen. 